All right, before we get started, let's go ahead and give some Twitter shout-outs live right here on the broadcast. And if you would like a Twitter shout-out, all you'd have to do is go to my Twitter account or X or whatever it's called. And this is the account right here, Ghost The Ghost Report, right here. The Ghost Report, all one word, no underscores, The Ghost Report. And if you retweet this tweet right here, True Capitalist Radio episode 673, Things to Know, I will give you a shout out live right here on the broadcast right here and now. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get some Twitter shout outs and let's do it here. Let's see if anybody did uh, a repost. Colonel Transisco in the house over there at DLive, dude, cheers to you. We got Train Fan 320 Foxo Ket victim, also Matthew Perry, by the way, uh, spent fifth fish in the house, the king of bugs, and Dondo. We got uh, Big Hefe. Uh, Mr. Ghost had some triple P and B last night. What the hell does that mean? We got what? Taco stand on the Texas Martyrs burial ground. Real funny. Captain Cheesecake, Alex Murdaw, the bug chaser, President J, Kits does a flip. Ghost Politics Facts, not facts, by the way. Mr. BN King and Ouija Slayer. We got Cat Cans. We got I Love Peep. Uh, what? Whatever the hell. Thanks a lot, Monkeys Uncle. All right. We got Narnar. We got Hair of the Dog. Hambolius. Paul Petto Danino. Lambo Subordinate. Uh, Rem Lazar Gulf Coast Chapter. We've got Hushu. Ghost E. Albine. I Ra Ra Bra. What the hell does that mean? Huh? Bra, ra, ra, bra. What the hell is that? We got cat cans in the house. We got advisor of TCR, the ghost show. Yeah, right. We got somebody by the name of Bend Over Phil McCracken. And do we have any more? I think that's about it. So anyway, that concludes the True Capitalist Radio shout outs for today. And I want to say cheers. All right. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get this True Capitalist Radio started on this Monday, a week before Christmas. And also, I do want to acknowledge somebody who actually uh, donated today. Uh, Armani Flack Jacket uh, asked, uh, can we have a TCR, please? So I posed it on my Twitter whether or not people wanted a uh, an actual True Capitalist Radio. They said they did, and here I am. So cheers to everybody out there. And Urinator with a Rumble Rant, how much to make those fat cheeks clap on the mic? I have all the time and money my disability can afford me. Your disability, what a piece of trash. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the markets. Now, right now, we are in complete investor mania right now, folks, all right? Complete investor mania. I mean, put the PC shot on. Let's take a look at this. All right, everything in the green. Why? Because the Fed has signaled that they project an interest rate cut that we've talked about in the past couple of shows in 2024, and that's got everybody all optimistic. All right, it's got everybody all optimistic, for Christ's sake. I'd buy that for a dollar. Ah, great. Hi, Ghost. How's your Monday going? Hope it's good. Yeah, thanks a lot. Anyway, we take a look at the Dow. It is unchanged right now. So that's, in my opinion, the direction we're going. And look, I'm not the only one that is seeing this, all right? I'd buy that for a dollar. Hold on. No, this better not be a I came back jag. because I heard a rumor you were making your own OC named Jag the Kukray. Oh, I do not appreciate on. you stealing my intellectual property. I hope you have a good lawyer because I will not stand for this slander. That's a fake Jag Deluxe Ray, by the way. All right, look, we're having a good show. Everybody refrain from doing this stupid text-to-speech bullshit, all right? We're having a great show here. I don't need you troll terrorists to deviate it into a direction where it's trolly and the ghost. We don't need that garbage, all right? But anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted by some troll terrorist internet scumbag... Um, I'm not the only one seeing that the Fed is kicking the can down the road. I mean, folks out of Bloomberg, all right, uh, Bill Dudley, who's a decent uh, article writer over there, says Jerome Powell's pivot is a big gamble, all right? The U.S. Federal Reserve has bet its reputation on a soft landing. That's why I don't understand why these fo- folks in Wall Street are celebrating this crap. I have no idea. And we got trolling the interwebs with a rumble rant, and he said, I'm jagging with jag shirts for sale What? I'm jagging with Jag shirts for sale? Uh, Check Ghost's Twitter for an exclusive deal from Hair of the... Don't bring bring up that prick, please. All right, trolling the interwebs. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, no. (laughs) That racist crap. Hey, five-finger prostate punch, you piece of trash. All right, we were having a perfectly good show here. 
all right, in which I'm trying to relay some financial insight to folks, all right? And here you are, you, you're messing up my show, you know, making it sound like some, you know, second-rate trash. I'm not, all right? I mean, you don't understand. This January, I've been doing this broadcast for 16 years, boy. Do you understand? All right, I am the underground. I am the badass of business. There's a reason why everybody, tens of thousands of people listen to old Ghost over here for not only just the financial insight, but the political and social commentary. All right? So all of you trolls, piss off, all right? Don't ruin the True Capitalist Radio brand, boy. Don't you dare just desecrate the damn True Capitalist Radio brand, you fucking derelicts. Anyway, as I was stating, my apologies, folks. I mean, once again, you know, we're trying to do a show. We got troll terrorists and cyber vermin trying to derail the show. But I think that Jerome Powell has made a huge gamble. And uh, as I alluded to earlier, they're doing this rate cut because they have to. All right. They don't want to have another 2009 on their hands. But as opposed to the residential real estate during those years, it will be the commercial real estate. And mostly office, because haven't you noticed there is a plethora of office buildings? And who the hell's renting that crap? I mean, prior to COVID, not many people were renting it to begin with. I'd buy that now, post COVID. Jag the Luxray? More like <laughs> fucks gay. Hey, dude, we don't condone that, all right? Anybody who took offense to that, we don't condone that, all right? All right, we don't condone I'd that. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fat bitch. Bet. Look, I'm already having a bad case of the Mondays, all right? You know what I tweeted today? Let me show you what I tweeted. This is how bad of the case of the Mondays that I had. I wanted to make... You <laughs> son of a bitch. A you son of a 16 bitch. 16 years of wasted... Shut up! All right, y'all are making my fucking Monday worse, all right? You're making it fucking worse. And you know, I was having such a bad Monday, I wanted to make everybody's Monday on Twitter that much more worse, all right? So you know what I did? I'm sorry to deviate the financial talk, but this is what I did. I was having such a bad Monday. Put the PC shot on. I tweeted this. Your Monday is about to get worse. You're welcome. And then I tweeted this. You figure it out. You figure it out. So look, now your Monday got even worse, all right? Because y'all saw that. You'll not never be able to unsee that. You're probably going to dream about that guy in your dreams, okay? So anyway, as I was stating, I'm sorry, folks. These stupid fucking troll terrorists and cyber vermin, all right? Anyway, even though everybody in the investment community is having an investor mania, I caution people, okay? I caution people. And hold on, we got a ninja with, or a urinator, excuse me, with a rumble rant. Are you going to talk about how your grandson and I banged in the Senate room? Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Banged in the Senate room. There you go, exploiting tards again. Listen, stop. All right, everybody stop. We were having a good goddamn show until you idiots started doing text-to-speech bull crap. All right? And by the way, we got Colonel Transisco with another ninja Gini. And he said, what does Alex Joan mean when he says we are at a debt-based society and the FET notes are printed debt? Well, that's exactly what it means. That's exactly what it means. I mean, who do we pay when we pay interest? From wherever it's at to 67, 70, be cautious after that price point. That's all I'm saying. Be cautious. Oh, I'm getting Dark Razor's vibes. Join in and go broke, guys. Listen, listen, everybody shut up. I'm trying to do a serious show here. You troll terrorists and cyber vermin that are out here trying to deviate my show into some troll terrorist garbage, y'all better cut the crap or I'm getting the hell out of here. Remember, I'm supposed to do a ghost show tomorrow night, and I certainly will think twice about doing it if you people make a mockery of this very serious show and I'm talking about a true capitalist radio show, all right?
Anyway, Colonel Transisco with the diamond over there at DLive and said the current exchange rate is $1 equals 29.05 Turkish lira. Why do you think I'm telling these people to stop donating in Turkish lira? Anyway, cheers to Colonel Transisco making it rain over there at DLive. He is the Lemon King. I can tell you that right now. Anyway, cheers to you there, uh, Colonel Transisco. Anyway, since we've talked a little bit about finance, I guess we're going to go ahead and talk about some domestic stuff. All right? Now, I, I hate that to even bring this up, but we might be going through some kind of a COVID shit here in the near future, folks. I'm not joking. I don't forgive Trump. And look, I have pinned something on my Twitter account, okay? And cheers to Monkey's uncle for hooking this up on the, the ghost show. I'd buy that for oh, a dollar. Oh, Jesus. Instead of grifting cans, maybe you could auction off Mrs. Ghost so we can all bang her. Hey, don't talk about my wife, you asshole! Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating, okay, I have this, uh, this pinned tweet on my Twitter account. And I quote Anthony Fauci, uh, an attack on me is an attack on science. Today's promising medical research into drugs and vaccines to combat a biological attack God in the future. What? Thanks for giving us a show tonight. Me and my husband enjoy watching TCR more than TGS. Uh, that's a fucked up name. Uh, that's a troll name. You're making me say, you want to make me say something racist, all right? We're almost done. I think everybody needs to see this, all right? And yet, every one of you maggotards that are out there that defend Trump think that he is completely absolved of this crap, which is unbelievable. And now we will. How the hell you're still voting for this guy? All right. I mean, seriously, how the hell are you still voting? Out of here! And now skip it. That's a dox, man. Skip the shit. Skip it. God damn it! I'd buy that for You a stupid troll terrorist bat piece of pig dog shit. Watching a fifteen minute on stream without providing any commentary was my invention. Oh, I have great. asked my lawyer to Fucking send a Hassan cease and Piker. Desist, and you will have exactly 15 minutes to end the stream and quit the internet. Yeah. Dude, Hassan, Hassan Piker is a fucking piece of shit that should be deported back to wherever the fucking fucking country he came from. All right, you can tell him I said that. Now listen, as I was stating, where are all you maggotards when it comes to this? And we've got Skunkler with a ninja guinea. He said, don't be racist. Racism is a crime, and crime is for people. All right, dude. All right, all right. Anyway, play this statement. I'd like each and every one of you maggotards to explain how you were completely okay with this. All right, play it. Play it. That's exactly what all these maggotards do when you confront them on this fact. All right? Oh, Jesus. All right, dude, that's enough. All right? Are the vaccines in the room with you now, ghost? Everybody stop text to speech and write fucking now unless you got something positive to say, all right? I don't want to hear racism. I don't want to hear any perversion, all right? I want to hear some positive or some fucking questions or some shit, all right? This is a serious show, all right? This is a serious damn show. And look, unfortunately, the Republicans should be beating the Democrats' asses right now. And the reason we're not is because we look like idiots. I mean, look, take a look at this. Biden is against the ropes. Take a look at this. Biden said to be increasingly frustrated by dismal poll numbers. Of course he does. We just don't have a candidate worth the crap that could beat this guy, unfortunately. Believe it or not. Believe it or not, most average, everyday Joe Americans are fairly okay with what's going on, with the exception of inflation. All right? And most people don't want to rock the boat when they're in a decent situation. We don't have any candidates whatsoever that, to actually make an opponent that could beat this guy. All right? And it makes me sick. And fuck you, kids. I'm not acknowledging your shit. Go suck. You go fucking suck yourself off. You fucking. As a matter of fact, ban this idiot. Ban this moron. Fucking idiot. Get Kits does a flip the fuck out of damn deal or fucking rumble. Get him out of there. Get him out. Fucking piece of crap. Get him out of here. Anyway, as I was stating, we should be beating Biden, dude. And believe it or not, most young people aren't very excited about Trump. Why? 
Can y'all piss off, dude? Look, if y'all keep this shit up, shut him up, man. Shut Shut up. Let me tell you something right now, okay? If if y'all continue to do this, I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the hell out of here, okay? I deserve more respect in this crap. I deserve more respect, and for you people to give me this level of disrespect pisses me off. All right. I'd buy that for a and look at here. Here are the magatards. I wouldn't be surprised if they were being paid by Donald Trump's campaign right now. And the reason they're doing this is because I'm making Trump look lower than a leprechaun's nutsack with hypocrisy that is, I guess, ignored by the magatards. And they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. So if you don't want to hear it, then get the fuck out of here right the fuck right now, dude. All right. Everybody get the fuck out of here. All right, everybody fucking get the fuck out of here. Fucking piece of crap. Anyway, as I was stating, all right, uh, we should be beating Biden. All right, we should be beating Biden. And by the way, I'm going to, let me, I got to kick, hold on, hold on just a second. I got to kick somebody out of the IC. I'm sorry. I got to kick somebody out of the fucking IC. Not even joking around. Get, get this fucking guy out of here. All right, I'm sorry. I have to kick somebody out of the inner circle. I'm not even fucking joking. I'm sorry I'm taking fucking time to do this. Kick him the fuck out of here right now. Kick him out. All right, kick him the fuck out of here. All right? All right, I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry I'm doing this. All right, there it is. Get him out. Get him out of the IC and get him out. Piece of shit. Anyway, sorry, folks. All right, I, I didn't mean to... Uh, you know, to do this. Anyway, we got Skunkler change subjects immediately. Oh, yeah? Change subjects immediately? Why? Uh, you get a little upset? Huh? You get a little angry? Because you, yours truly is, is, is making you look fucking stupid over here? Son of a bitch. Be expecting something even worse when this son of a bitch or any of the other fucking candidates. I mean, who, who do we have leading in second place with Trump? This stupid, dumb fucking sh bitch. Fucking Nikki Haley. All right. And Nikki Haley doesn't even know her ass from her elbow. This bitch doesn't know foreign policy. She doesn't know domestic <laughs> policy. She's an time. idiot. She's an idiot. Crazy to think that half the planet will be dead in 10 years and the wait 10 years. What a convenient amount of time for everyone to forget what you said. Will you even last that long? I guess you can't be embarrassed if you die before 2031. Oh, great. Thank you. First of all, not the hitman cause. And secondly, thanks for the five bucks, you fucking piece of trash. Anyway, as I was stating, take a look at this latest shock poll here. All right, Haley gains on Trump in New Hampshire while he continues to dominate in Iowa. And folks, uh, look, I'm not a big fan of women leadership. I'm going to be completely honest. I, I am not a big fan of women leadership. They flip-flop all over the place. I mean, take a look at that pepperoni bitch that's the prime minister over there in fucking Italy. All right? Take a look at that pepperoni bitch over there in Italy, for Christ's sake, if you know what I'm talking about. All right? Seriously. She was supposed to be the you know anti-woke. She was supposed to be this and that. And look at what happened. Uh, look at what happened, for Christ's sake. I'd buy that for a dollar. You keep saying the same thing over and over. Get to something new. Type one in the chat if you heard this tired old script before. Yeah, well then get the fuck out of here! Alright, nobody's fucking asking you to stay here and listen to this broadcast! Get the fuck out! Get out! Get out! Alright, I don't give a shit! I'm not asking you to stay here! Stupid son of a bitch! Anyway, once again, Nikki Haley is who we got fucking lead in the GOP out here out, uh, next to Trump. Uh, that, that gives us a whole bunch of reassurance. And guess what? She's appealing to the soccer moms and the leftists and the single mother whores. And she's... Ad Dude, I can't stand that this is the state of the GOP. You know, I hate to say this. I absolutely hate to say this. But you remember on election night here, uh, midterms. Remember I had a show... And I couldn't believe that John Fetterman was actually going to win the Senate seat over there in Pennsylvania. I couldn't believe it, right? I was like, these fucking leftist pieces of trash. Here they go. And folks, much to my chagrin, 
All right, John Fetterman is now the most right-wing senator in fucking Congress right now. I'm not even joking. This is what kind of a fucked up fucking world we're living in in American politics today. Take a look at this, all right? Senator Fetterman has dissed Hamas, the CCP, said we need to buy back farmland that the Chinese are buying up, and is speaking on the importance of the freedom of speech. We need to send most of the GOP to whatever factory he came out of. And little did I know, he was fetter all along. I mean, little did I know. Little did I know. (laughs) He was fetter than we thought. And you see, this is the kind of stances that most of us on the right need to start taking. We're not. We're not. All right, we don't stand for anything in the GOP. All the GOP is is a bunch of fucking blowhards. Did you skip this? That fucking talk shit out of their ass. Nobody cares. I mean, we're not proposing any kind of policy. We're not doing any of this shit. All we're doing is, oh, look, uh, like stupid subjects that don't affect general American society. And they're hypocrites, too. Everybody who's supposedly a conservative, I mean, look at fucking Lauren Boebert. Oh, she, I, I, you know, it's gross to, to sexualize children. Which it is, I agree. It's gross to have drag shows. And, and here this bitch is giving some dude in a handy in some fucking theater while he's using her breasts for bongos while everybody's sitting around in the dark. I mean, these people are hypocrites. Matt Gates, another hypocrite, supposed conservative, <laughs> alleged I, I, sex I, I, trafficker, I, I, by the way. I hate to interrupt the show, I really do, but sometimes you just gotta say what you gotta say, and I really hope I'm not interrupting your flow. Yeah, sure. But is this a bad time to bring up my tooth? I've paid already, but need to be remembered. All right. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, oh, fuck, so, all right, whatever. Can't you make one out of Play-Doh and heat it up in the fucking oven or some shit? Anyway, troll on the interweb said every day is opposite day when you're in public service. I'd buy that for Hey, cheers to, uh... Next the subject, interwebs. we have heard this one already. What else have you got? If you don't like it, five-finger prostate punch, then get the fuck out, all right? I'm not asking you to listen to this broadcast, you fucking leftist piece of trash. Get out of here if you don't like it. Get out! Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating, all right, the right is, is all over the place. All right, this is the person leading if Trump is not the candidate. All right, Nikki fucking Haley, some stupid broad that's probably, I believe in women's rights. I believe in an abortion. And we've got Colonel Transisco, current exchange rate, $1 equals 0.79 British pounds. And uh, look, we got Jag the Luxray in D Live saying with a diamond, still listening to TCR and TGS, but not interacting. Thank you, Jag the Luxray. Don't be intimidated by these goddamn tards, all right? Do not be intimidated by these tards. You got to put them in their place, all right? So cheers to Jag the Luxray, all right? Cheers to you, man. Anyway, this is what we have, right? Ron DeSantis. And I don't know, have you ever seen him campaign with a general American public? I mean, he's so artificial, he can't even fake a, a fake smile without it looking like he just crapped his pants. I mean, he's not good with the public, and he's signing a lot of legislation into law out there in Florida that I don't think that he's read. Oh, my God. I'm in your country, and I'm spouting so much about how much I hate America. I'm shitting on the grass. I'm flipping off the flag, and you can't do anything about it. And don't tell me to get out because I'm too broke to leave. Get out! Get out! I'd buy that for a dollar. Dubia, 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 plastic pork, I milk boy, dubia, 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 Jesus Christ. Anyway, look, folks, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get to some serious subject matters here. Obviously, I'm getting bombarded. Bombarded with a bunch of troll terrorists and cyber vermin, man. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying to convey some political and social commentary here, and it's it's getting very hard to do. And I'm sorry to everybody out there who's listening, all right? And let me tell you, you keep this shit up, I'm not showing up for the ghost show tomorrow, all right? So this is your last warning to all you troll terrorists that are trying to demean the brand of true capitalist radio. This is a serious show! 
Do you understand that? This is a serious damn show, so shut the hell up when you're talking to me. Oh, God. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, so the guy who rammed into the motorcade last night was caught on camera throwing a Stella Artos can in the trash. It was wrapped in bubble wrap and had a sign stir on it. Hmm. That's, erm, um, kinda Seuss bro. I mean, you know. Don't blame me for that fucking fault. car that, don't blame me for that car that hit the damn Joe Biden motorcade, you fucking son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. And dude, whoever the hell X37X is and kick, this is a serious show. Shut your goddamn mouth and stop flapping your fat Cheeto stained fingers on the keyboard thinking that you're some fucking troll terrorist or cyber vermin, you, you fucking piece of shit. Look, everybody. Oh, Jesus Christ. What now? 9020 guys. No, no, you fucking doxing piece of shit. Stop doxing. All right, everybody, stop doxing for Christ's sake, man. Good God! I'm trying to do a show here, scumbags! All right, dude, I'm sorry. I gotta take some time out. I'm sorry, folks. I'm trying to do a show. As you can see, it's easier said than done. All right, you know what? Where's my pipe? Where's my pipe? Where's my goddamn pipe, dude? All right, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry that we're having to go through this. I'm gonna get back to the show in, in just a little bit, but... Uh, I'm sorry, folks. All right, I'm sorry, man. Uh, these fucking trolls, all right? And by the way, I'm smoking tobacco. I'm not smoking any kind of illegal contraband. And uh, I'm still on the strain of tobacco called Mud Shark Dance Instructor. And if you're wondering where I get this stuff, I get it from the uh, Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner. And by the way, not only did I purchase this tobacco from the Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner, but I also purchased some tamales from his mother. All right? Because, uh, dude, every Christmas, every holiday season, these Mexicans, they all peddle fucking tamales all over the fucking place. So that's what I had to eat yesterday right before the Dallas game. And, uh, oh, Jesus. I'd buy that for a dollar. Have you ever been with another man? I've never been with a man, not another man. What do you fucking keep asking me that question? I've never been with a man. Jesus Christ, man. Anyway, let me calm my ass down. I'm going to take a smoke of some tobacco. If you could please, I'm going to resume the show in a minute, all right? But anyway, I ate some tamales. There's a Tex-Mex meal that's called tamales con chili. And uh, that's what I made yesterday. I used uh, this old bitch's tamales, hooked it up with some uh, Tex-Mex chili that yours truly made, poured that shit over it, and uh, it was great stuff, all right? So, you know, if you ever see a little abuela or a little Mexican woman out like, uh, Mister, would you like to have some of my tamales? I made them this morning and... You might want to consider getting them. They're not bad, all right? And plus, you'll be, ha you'll be helping the, what is it, the Hispandex community, all right? You'll be helping them, dude. Anyway, let me take a smoke and then I'm going to get back to the broadcast. I'm sorry we're going through this. Uh, we're going to get back to the show in a second. Here, let me, get, let me take a smoke here. All right, got to hold it in, let it hit the brain, all right? <laughs> got to hold it in, let it hit the brain. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. We don't respond to threats. Oh, yeah? You'll show up for the ghost show tomorrow with a smile on your face, and you will do it because we said so. You piece we of shit. We made you who you are, and we'll return you to nothing if you step out of line again. Don't fucking threaten me. Warning. You fucking don't <laughs> threaten me, you piece of shit. Dollar. Don't you fucking dare threaten me, you fucking scumbag, all right? Don't you fucking dare threatening me. I, I, I'm not, I don't respond well to threats. You do that shit, no go show tomorrow, you fucking piece of trash. I'm talking, can you believe these people? Can you fucking believe these people? Jesus Christ. Anyway, we've got Jag, this is not the real Jag the Lux Ray. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, Ghost Hope, all is well. I'm really pissed what Helmet Boy did last night. Uh, seriously pissed. Uh, that he recorded that without my knowledge and played it on Radio Graffiti. I'm in the process of uh, copywriting my OC because uh, what these people are doing is illegal and it's wrong. And I will find each and every one of you trolls doing this and beat... All right, that's an All right, that's enough. That's not the real Jag Deluxe Ray, by the way, all right? Anyway, if we're not talking about DeSantis, all right, we've got... <laughs> oh, I'd buy that God. for a dollar. Mr. Ghost... It's Pablo. 
Webud also like you wish you a Merry Christmas. Gracias Mr. Ghost. Ah, arriba. Okay, uh, arriba to you too, Pablo, all right? Anyway, if we don't have Nikki Haley, we don't have DeSantis, we got Vivek Ramaswamy, chat GPT, uh, tech support. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. That for a Come on! You're right, Ghost. I'm better than the trolls. I can take your thick, long Alabama black snake up the butt better than any of these trolls ever oh, can imagine. Dude, that's a Cheers, job, please, all right? Also, I'll be at my local glory hole in my fursuit because I'm proud. Can y'all stop with the... Oh, Jesus Christ! Al Champers! Can you invite Jack back into the inner circle? I want his advice on separating the butt cheeks when applying a news bleach. Oh my god, dude. I'd buy that for a dollar. Britney Fenty feet pics. I don't I'm not I don't know Britney Fenty. I mean, no offense, Britney Fenty. I mean, I don't know what you do. You kind of I don't know. I'd no, that skip that shit, dollar. man! You can't afford to shut up! Look, five finger prostate punch, you better cut the crap. You're out here posting doxes, man. And I, that's not cool. Alright? That's bullshit, actually. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm over here. I'm just a guy trying to do a show, folks. And I'm sorry that we're being subjected to this type of malarkey. I am sincerely sorry to everybody out there who is being subjected to this. This is a serious broadcast. And these fucking trolls are coming in here trying to demean the true capitalist radio brand. And I don't appreciate it. Jesus Christ, man. Now, look. I'm going to get back to the show. And if I get fucking disturbed again, not only am I going to fucking shut this damn show down, all right? There ain't going to be a goddamn show on, on the ghost show tomorrow. All right? I oh, Christ. Oh, God. Fuck. Get Fuck. Get Fuck. Fuck. God damn it, you racist bastards, man. And what the hell is up with putting Jag Deluxe Ray's name around a bunch of swastikas, dude? What the fuck is that about? Oh, my God. Anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted by these... Oh, gee. No! Skip it! It's a dox! No, stop! Stop it! Stop with the fucking doxes, man! Please! All right? This is not funny. This is not a troll. This is fucked up, man. Oh, my God, you people, man! I'm trying to do a show! I'm trying to do a serious show! Don't you understand that? God damn it! God damn all you people to hell, man! Especially you people that are laughing at this shit. Hey, you people that are that are laughing, hey, you're just as responsible as these scumbags doing this shit. You know that? Silence is consent, you moron. So all of you people that are being silent and fanning your nuts and laughing at this shit, you're just as complicit too! Son of a bitch. So everybody just calm down. I'm going to take another smoke and then we're going to get back to the show. All of you fucking trolls better calm your asses down right now. I'm not even joking around. Fucking pieces of fucking garbage. And look, I bet each and every one of you question your sexuality every time you take a big turd. You fucking fruit moles. All right, so shut up. Give me a smoke here, all right? All right. Hold on. Good thumbs over there at Rumble Rants. He said, first time listener, is this actually an intentional comic interruption bit? Or is this an actual serious issue-based show? Dude, it's serious! I just got fucking trolls I gotta fucking deal with. It's unfortunate. I'm sorry. By the way, thank you for being a first time listener. But I'm, I'm just trying, dude. Look, let's get back to the show. I'm, hold on. Let me take a hit of tobacco. All right. And the tobacco strain is called Mud Shark Dance Instructor. And then we're getting back to the show. All right, we're going to get back to serious subjects. Nobody fucking donating racism. Or, uh, God damn it! Take that shit off! No, uh, God damn it, man! The fuck's wrong with you people, dude? The hell is wrong? And don't listen to these idiots. Anybody who says TCR is a parody, kick them the fuck out. I don't care who they are. This is not a parody show. This fucking show is as serious as a goddamn heart attack. All right? Son of a bitch. Everybody who's saying that this is a... Oh, fuck. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Christ. Fuck. 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 Fuck.
Skip it! Skip it! God damn it, you fucking sons of bitches, dude. Y'all are fucking pissing me the fuck off. I'm not even fucking joking around, man. Alright? I'm not even fucking joking around, man. Cut the crap! This is your last goddamn warning! Oh, oh no, god damn it, you fucking piece of crap. Take that shit off! Take it off! Don't the fucking dogs, you fucking... Son of a bitch! I'm gonna end the broadcast, dude. I can't keep going like this, dude. Y'all gotta, y'all gonna have to give me a fucking break, man. Y'all are gonna have to give me a break. Jesus Christ, man! Give me a fucking smoke. I'm sorry, folks. I'm gonna get back to the serious subject matter in just a second. I just. I just have to. I just have to smoke. I gotta. I gotta take the edge. Oh Jesus Christ! What now? Ah oh, damn it! I don't condone any of the damn racism that is being conveyed on this broadcast right now. All right, these are people that are donating and they're trying to make me a racist because they're saying racist crap. All right. I'm sorry, folks. I'm not drinking right now. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm not fucking drinking. It's fucking Monday. All right, I'm waiting till the NFL tonight when I see the fucking Philadelphia Eagles uh, meet the S Seattle Seahawks tonight, all right? I'm not drinking right now. What are you talking to? What are you, smoking crack? Anyway, let me take a smoke here. I'm sorry, folks, all right? All right. Got to gotta hold it in let it hit the brain, all right? All right, let me go ahead and continue, all right? I was talking about the... Ah, oh, God! Buy that for uh, uh, fuck, 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 no, fuck, 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 oh, God, dude. I'm, I can't do this. I can't do this fucking show if you fucking people are going to continue to do this garbage. Look at this shit. Buy that for a dollar. Skip that crap, dude. Stop, man. Everybody just stop, man. Oh, God. And trolling the interwebs over there at Rumble Ranch. Uh, be sure to drink your Ovaltine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. All right. Anyway, uh, let me get back to the show. Who do, who do we have? All right. We had Nikki Haley. We got fucking Ron DeSantis. And then we've got this guy, ChatGPT, uh, tech support operator over here, uh, Ramaswamy. Now, look, I don't like Ramaswamy. I think he's an idiot. But whoever's threatening to kill this guy, I mean, we don't need this, all right? I mean, this is the American political system. I mean, we could beat people just based on our beliefs and our policies. We don't have to be... I mean, we're not in Africa or South America when we're doing this type of crap. And by the way, we got uh, Colonel Transisco with a ninja guinea. I think a lot of these trolls are sadist. And you're a masad, a masochist, excuse me, at times. I'm a masochist? These trolls are bad. I'm a masochist? Is that what you're trying to claim? I'm not a masochist, man. I'm just a guy trying to do a show. That's all. I mean, that's all I'm trying to do. Anyway, as I was stating, all right, uh, somebody threatened to kill Ramaswamy. I don't know why. I mean, I don't think he's going to be president. I don't, I don't understand why he needs to get all worked up. I mean, this is America, okay? We, we battle with ideas, all right? All right, we go to the voting box. We don't go to the cartridge box. Do you understand? And that's what separates our country. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can you stop? Can you stop with the... Just stop! All right, just stop! And Mama Luigi with a rumble ran who said, Blood forgot to mention E. Honda, or shall I say Chris Christie. He's not even at worth acknowledging after what he said that criticism of Israel is hate speech. I don't think so, all right? What if instead of true capitalist radio, it was an empty room with a white guy in one corner, a black guy in the other, both jerking each other's dicks off? Oh, Imagine Jesus the gallons Christ. of cum shooting out like a volcano. Shut up, and then dude! You black pervert! Guys come in naked. You're a fucking pervert. All right, D don't listen. Oh God! I'd buy that for a dollar. Pie ass woman. I gotta go give my leftovers to the same. No, skip it. No, skip that shit. Stop it with the fucking docs, dude. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Dollar.
We are not paying you to have a meltdown on the clock. Get to Radio Graffiti or face the consequences, you Dime Store Matt Drudge. Oh, fuck you, Dime Store Matt Drudge. What are you fucking talking about, man? I'm giving you all fucking highly intelligent CIA level of assessments here. The fuck are you talking about? I mean, I prognosticate future events that have come to pass. You understand? So don't sit here and try to second guess my intellect, you fucking piece of trash. And we got Urinator. That New Hampshire guy was a shock trooper of yours. No, bullshit. All right? Bullshit. Anyway, we got Ramaswamy over here. Chat GPT. Thank you. Come again. You know, this guy running for president, which, I mean, this guy sounds like he'll say whatever's necessary. And by the way, we got trolling the interwebs with a rumble rants. What's more important to know about Ramaswamy is that he has a small cock. What? What the hell? The smallest in record history. It's a scientific model. So Fauci stuck it in one of the beagles. Oh, dude, oh, what? The, why are y'all doing this, dude? All right. Why are y'all ruining my show, dude? Anyway, put the PC shot on, all right? I responded to one of his tweets. I said, anyone who believes this Soros-funded Big Pharma shill probably thinks that the street is a perfect place to pinch a loaf. All right, he's advocating nothing other than incendiary-type <laughs> violent activities. Don't tell me what to do, all right? Don't tell me what to do. I'm in the middle of my fucking show. This is not the fucking ghost show. Don't tell me what to do. Anyway, Devious Dave, remember when Trump uh, told Bruce Jenner he could use the woman's restroom in Trump Tower? I mean, this is what I'm talking about, Devious Dave. I particularly believe that now most of the folks that are with Trump are all, in my opinion, Democrat operatives. And I think that's what's taken over the entire Republican Party. And that's why we're not, I mean, we're not standing for anything. Everything that made what a Republican was is no longer Republican. There's no longer any true social conservatives anymore. Everybody has been yanked out of the closet as an absolute hypocrite and holding a beer. All right. I'm just saying you can't do that. Anyway, Troll on the Interweb said, remember when Bruce Jenner ran someone over with his car and he had a schizophrenic episode and called himself Caitlyn, chopped off his balls so he can get away with it? That's horrible, dude. All right, I'm not, I'm not, um, give me a break. And uh, Ghost My Man says, Ghosty, we love you, baby. Your voice simu simu stimulates? What are you fucking talking about? My voice stimulates. But anyway, back to Trump, okay? I'm a little concerned about Trump. I mean, this is how the general American public is viewing the Republican Party at this point. Two deer walk out of a gay bar. One of them turns to the other and says, I can't believe I blew 40 bucks in there. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? All right. Yo, stop counter streaming my show, Fish Tank, you fucking leech. <laughs> I mean, that's a fucking stupid, dumb show, dude. I mean, I'm telling you, I mean, it's complete normie content. And, uh... I, I wouldn't even fucking look at that for three seconds. I would watch Only Use Me Blade doing a bender, all right, and puking and pissing all over himself than to even glance five seconds at that stupid shit. Give me a break. Anyway, as I was stating, and by the way, I had nothing to do with the canceling of Sam Hyde's appearance in, at a San Antonio club out here. I had nothing to do with that. Yeah, right. Anyway, once again, Christian Ziegler... Republican chairman in Florida suspended amid rape allegations. As I was stating, we are just, we're, we're, I don't know how we're expected. And you see, this is why I'm saying it's the Republicans that aren't doing a fucking thing. We could, buy that for we could do something about this border. I accidentally hit someone with my car. I thought I killed them. But when I went to go check, I saw they had a Panera bread supercharged lemonade. So I was in the clear. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Thoughts on Congressman Mike Lawler and his ass trying to protect the Jews? I mean, isn't that what most GOP are riding with now? They're all down with Israel. We, we fucking the GOP uh, replace McCarthy with this fucking weirdo as Speaker of the House who thinks that Jesus talks to him every night and that this whole, this is a part of his life crusade is being a part of the goddamn Speaker of the House. This guy's a fucking lunatic. All right. I mean, th I think that's what the GOP is doing, which I don't agree with. I mean, I don't agree that we should just wholeheartedly give our uh, undying support to Israel. Okay. 
I'm just saying. I'd buy that for a dollar. Nor Palestine either. You can't have always been this shitty. It is just that you haven't noticed this until now because you have been a mindless ship drone for so long. Yeah, okay, sh sure. Yeah, right, revelations, all right? Anyway, th like I said, the Republicans could have done something here. They could have ran on a border situation. They could have ran that, hey, we forced Biden to capitulate. They're not going to be a superpower. They're going to be lucky if they're a regional power after this. Hey, wait a minute. Urinator said, thank you for your service for the log cabin Republic. Yeah, shut up, asshole, all right? So, I mean, like I said, when I started this whole coverage of Trump... <laughs> What? I'd buy that for a oh, dollar. Jesus Christ. Hey, baby cakes. Thanks for staying behind me. If you know what I mean, smile now. Take your dirty, crusty diarrhea diapers off and take me bare back. Take me to Space Mountain. Oh, yes, I'm so close, baby. Th give me oh, a fuck break. him coming, yes. Shut yes. up. <laughs> no, skip this shit. All right, skip it. Anyway, as I was stating, what terrifies me is the foreign policy that Trump is going to mandate when he's president or if he's president, and he's going to go kiss the fucking ring of Putin. I don't know what Putin has on Donald Trump, but, I mean, dude, can you take your lips off of Putin's asshole? I cannot believe that this guy is such a capitulator to Russia and doubled down and decided to hit targets within the border of Russia, <laughs> I'd buy that which has made dollar. the situation even worse. Hey, ghost. Did you hear that you could feed a starving African child for only 12 cents a day? I guess when you're that hungry, you eat anything, even pennies. Oh, <laughs> All right. And listen, I still remember what you did on the ghost show, you piece of crap. You donated a video of some guy who bent over and, and launched a <laughs> shit out of his ass. All right. Jack the luxury. No, no, no stop it, fucking Menno Ray, you fucking piece of shit. Anyway, as I was stating, I'm sorry, folks. I'm I'm trying here. You know what I mean? I'm trying to keep up. And we got Colonel Transisco who said the current exchange rate for one dollar equals ninety point one six Russian rubles. Yeah. By the way, don't donate to me in Russian rubles. Okay. The last thing I need is to be red flagged by the goddamn uh, FBI and then come and pay me a visit. All right. I don't need that shit. But anyway, as I was stating, and cheers to Colonel Transisco. As I was stating. Uh, Zelensky's finding himself in a very precarious situation because he is, uh, I mean, he should have negotiated. He should have negotiated back this past spring or this past summer. And I think that he would have gotten a concession from Russia at this point in time as the majority of their population. And now this uh, whole invasion has actually put a even more of a dire strait on that particular uh, stat. And Five Finger Prostate Punch said, uh, we have to hear you repeating the same crap. Then get the fuck out, all right? I'm tired of you trolls saying, oh, you're repeating this, you're repeating that. Get the fuck out of here if you don't fucking like it, you fucking stupid milky liquor, all right? I'm fucking tired of you fucking turkey tit sucking, uh, cut cold connoisseur, used dental dam licking, uh, trans testicle turd burglar looking, dog farting fetish having, nipple clamp loving, butt plug up the ass looking, chicken eating corn boy crap. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired. Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, man. Anyway, as I was stating before I got fucking rudely interrupted by a bunch of fucking troll terrorist cyber vermin scumbags who are probably putting about two or three fingers in their shit funnel, gyrating it counterclockwise, and having a good time with this crap. Fucking dumbasses, man. I'll tell you right now. Uh, I'd buy that for a dollar. Hold, hold on, there's an audio file here coming up, folks, all right? Get to French Core. What the hell is French Core, for Christ's sake? The show. If you think the show is boring, then get the fuck out of here right the fuck right now, all right? If you, get the fuck out of here. And why isn't this playing? What the hell? Show is boring, get to the French Core. Well, we're waiting for... God! What the fuck?! No! What the hell? I'm sorry, fuck! You asshole! You asshole! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Whoever
whatever the hell, donate that. I hope you get cancer of the cock. Jesus Christ. Oh, my. I'm sorry, folks. I, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Dude, I'm trying. But these fucking rosebud asshole having Magic Johnson toilet licking, rusty trombone playing, blue ball blowing, taint tongue and pieces of shit are out here fucking with me. And I, I'm, I'm getting a little tired of it. All right, I'll be honest with you. And if you're wondering why we heard that, that's because on donation alerts, you can, you know, actually upload a fucking audio file. And that's what that idiot has done. So if you, I'm sorry for the ear rape. But, you know, that's that's what you heard there. I'm sorry. All right, let me go ahead and take a smoke here and continue, all right? I, as I was stating, Russia, even though it's got the leverage in this conflict with Ukraine, it isn't going out unscathed, all right? They're losing their nationalistic Russian race because of this conflict. All right, anyway, uh, hold on. We got five-finger prostate punch. Uh, you skipped my previous dono, and what what was it? Hold on, I got I to I gotta see what his previous dono was. Uh, I, I skipped your dono before. All right, I fucking just said it, all right? All right, five-finger prostate punch, I just said it. So just shut up. You just got acknowledged. Shut your goddamn pie hole, all right? You just got acknowledged. Shut the fuck up. But I, as I stated, I think this is a veiled threat, but I don't think that uh, Russia has the capacity to be able to fulfill that particular threat. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's transition, no pun intended, from Russia to China. The first time I'd ever seen a Chinese leader do such a thing. All right? I read your dono, Five Finger Prostate Punch. Shut the fuck up! Jesus Christ! Anyway, China's in a desperate situation, so where are they going to to try to gather some uh, allies? Well, now they're going to North Korea, and that's right after North Korea launched an ICBM all right, inter intercontinental ballistic missile, uh, you know, trying to show off that, I don't know, it could flex nuts or something. Now China's meeting with them. <laughs> I this buy is, that for Oh, a Jesus. This is a pure show of force, all right? Oh, Jesus Christ. Can y'all fuck off with, I just get my donation. What fucking donation, Jacev, you fucking stupid fucking loser? All right? What fucking donation? Here, here's your fucking donation. Here, put the PC shot on. Here's your fucking donation. There it is. Yeah, I skipped your fucking day. There it is right fucking there. Now shut up. And what the hell is this? Shh, don't tell anyone. Be sure to read them off. All, I'm not going to read. What is this shit? What kind of coordinates is this? Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating, China and North Korea meeting, and this is definitely to show uh, that, hey, look, even though North Korea is launching ballistic missiles in the air, us Chinese, we're still down with them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Colonel Transisco said the current exchange rate is one U.S. dollar for 7.12 Chinese won. What, Sasori? Hey since you have done extensive research about gays, what about furries? You have your little Jag the Lax Ray to toss his salad like the f you buck broke. Oh, Jesus but first Christ. dance shekel goblin like the good whore you are. Snipe. Snipe. All right, dude, that's enough. I All right, that's that a, a dude. No, come on. Hey, ghost. I respect you as a tuber and an anime enthusiast, but please stop ignoring five finger prostate punches, donos. That is not very puckers of you, my dude. Also, his address is. Oh, no, no, skip that fucking duck. God damn it! Stop posting dogs, you fucking. Oh, damn it! Oh, fuck, man! God damn it! Son of a bitch! <sighs> Look, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to end this fucking broadcast, man. I'm trying to be serious here, all right? I'm trying to talk about China here. All right? And even though China is trying to flex nuts and show, oh, we're down with Korea now, China is slowly, you know, kind of falling to the ground, if you want my opinion, all right? But they still got to flex nuts. Guess what? They're at the balloon thing again. Remember that Chinese balloon that came over here? We had to shoot down... Uh, Taiwan reports two Chinese balloons near its territory. And, of course, this is uh, to intimidate them right before the Taiwanese election, by the way. So it is what it is, all right? Dude, five-finger prostitute, take that shit off. Take that shit off. How, how come on Rumble you can't take a goddamn... How come you can't take this shit off? How come on Rumble you can't take that shit off?
God damn it, man! Take it off! I'm sorry, folks. I'm trying to do a show here. I'm being bombarded by a b bunch of fucking troll terrorists, cyber vermin scumbags, and uh, you know I'm, I'm having. A, I'm trying to work around them, dude. I'm trying to work around them, and it ain't working. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry, and I want to say cheers to everybody out there who's listening to the True Capitalist Radio Show. And I'm t I'm warning you, trolls that are f that are fucking up the True Capitalist Radio brand. I ain't showing up if you fuckers continue to do this tomorrow for the ghost show. I repeat, I am not going to put up with this anymore. So if you continue to do this shit, I'm not fucking showing up for the ghost show. And that's a fucking promise, all right? And what, who's somebody in the inter somebody in the goddamn kick chat is t telling me to calm down, you whore. I'm not a whore, all right? I'm a broadcaster, all right? And look, I've been doing this damn show... This January is going to be 16 years, all right? We're almost at the 20-year mark. And what did I always tell you folks? I said, after the 25-year mark, all right, they're going to give me the Golden Microphone Award for being one of the best broadcasters of all time. So go fuck yourselves, all you haters out there. You keep flapping your fat Cheeto-stained fingers on the keyboard and talking all that malarkey while I'm out here. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm prognosticating the future, for Christ's sake, all right? And look at this, five-finger prostate punch. You will show up. You need the shekels. Oh, fuck yourself, all right? I'm not, so, I'm not some shekel goblin, all right? I'm not some $5 whore on nickel night, boy, all right? I will be given the golden microphone. I'll tell you that right goddamn now. Anyway, let me get back to the broadcast. I'm sorry. I'm trying to, you know, continue, but... I'm being I'm being clobbered here, folks, all right? Especially these text-to-speech assholes, all right? Anyway, Taiwan, Taiwan reports two Chinese balloons uh, right as their election nears, all right? Because, you know, they're still trying to flex nuts, old China, you know what I mean? But as I stated, uh, China's in a very desperate economic situation domestically, and, uh, I mean, the fuse has been lit. It's not if or it's when. The, this whole goddamn economy of China is going to come to a header, all right? And Five Finger Prostate Punch said, prove it, turn it... Listen, shut the fuck up, Five Finger Prostate Punch. You have taken way too much airtime on my fucking show, all right? So shut up! For Christ's sake, you fucking kebab, kebab meatbag-chewing, migrant, mouth-hugging fucking immigrant. And we got the Zeppeliner, uh, Zepsel, Zepselinzer, who said, uh, oh... Have a buck. Oh, that can't get a cheeseburger. Well, yeah, fuck off. All right, what is that supposed to mean? Huh? What the hell is that supposed to fucking mean? Jesus Christ. Let me take a smoke here, folks, all right? I'm sorry that we're putting up with this garbage, but uh, I'm going to continue with the broadcast in just a second. I just, I mean, these fucking trolls, for Christ's sake. And listen, five-finger prostate punch, stop sending me rumble rants, all right? Stop sending me rumble rants. And by the way, I'm going to I'm going to hook up some uh, lemons for the folks that are in the D live chat. The D live chat is always the, the most calm, uh, the most adult chat of all the chat rooms of all the platforms that you're truly broadcast from, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thousand lemons into the treasure chest. All right, I'm going to put a thousand of them. All right, right now. So go ahead and do it. Thousand lemons in the treasure chest, all right? Anyway, all right. Uh, cheers to the folks in D-Live. And, dude, for the folks that are doing all these rumble rants, I mean, give me a fucking break. And Ouija Slayer with a rumble rant. You're not getting a golden microphone. You're going to get a golden shower. Look at this guy. You see, now rumble rants is now starting to turn into kind of a trolley fucking arena, if you want my opinion. All right, so give me a damn break. Anyway, back to China, as I was stating, all right? China's on the brink. All right. At any moment, I think we're going to wake up one day and I wouldn't be surprised if Chinese start flipping out in the streets because of the economy. And hold on. A five finger prostate punch with a rumble rant telling me how to spend my money. How commie of you. Fuck off. All right. And lazy dude with a rumble rant. WCC versus Al Chap versus Jag. Who wins? Come on, dude. All right. I'd buy that for a dollar. What the hell? Hey there, Thomas. We're the primary manufacturer of U.S. strategic nuclear security assets, right here in the Texas Panhandle. 
Feel free to give no! us a visit at US. It's a dox! It's a, just shut it off! It's a dox! Jesus fucking Christ, you people! And Fruitcake Texan said Rumble Rants are basically fire sale TTS? Look, I would appreciate if y'all stopped the Rumble Rants, all right? Seriously. All right, I would appreciate it. Jesus fucking Christ. It's not a fire sale on Texan. Don't say... Just don't do it, all right? And by the way, um, because I did this show, I'm going to send the fucking cans out. Uh, they're off. They're no longer for sale. I'm going to send them all tomorrow. So if you're expecting one, it should be here either by the end of the week, right before Christmas, hopefully. Let's see what happens, all right? Anyway, uh, cheers to everybody out there. Let me go ahead and take a smoke here, and then I'm going to get back to my uh, discourse on China and how its economy is about to collapse and... They're just putting on band-aids in an attempt to prevent it from doing so. All right, so let me go ahead and take a smoke here. All right, let me give it to you a smoke. Stop it, five-finger prostate punch with the fucking rumble rants. It's a fire sale, folks. Go fuck yourself. Give me a smoke. All right, I'm smoking tobacco, by the way, all right? It's not illegal contraband, and the uh, the strain of tobacco is called Mud Shark Dance Instructor. I'd buy that for a dollar. 4.162.75.172.192.147. No, those are IP. Skip it. Skip it. God, God damn it, you people, man. Come on. I'm trying to do a show here. Come on. I'm sorry, folks. All right, I'm, I'm going to have to probably end this fucking shit. I mean, how long have I been on here? I've been on here for only two hours and 25 minutes. It feels like I've been on here for four fucking hours, man. Jesus Christ. All right, folks. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get to it. I'm sorry for everybody else, dude. Five finger prostate punch. If you do that, I'm kicking you out of the room. All right. If you do that, I'm kicking you out of the fucking room. Five finger prostate punch. You piece of shit. I mean, I'm trying to do a show. Don't you understand that? I'm trying to do a show. And why don't you just fucking let me do it, man? How about that shit? Why don't you just fucking let me do my goddamn show? Fucking piece of trash. <sighs> All right. Anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted by five-finger piece of shit prostate punch over here. All right. China's having a very precarious situation with its economy. Okay? And it's going to take a header. All right. It's going to take... Dude, everybody shut up. <sighs> All right, I'm, 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 I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to need a drink after this, for Christ's sake. By the way, I'm going to be kicking it in the Thunderdome, all right? And I just want to say to everybody who kicked it with us last night in the Thunderdome, that was probably one of the funnest Thunderdome sessions I have ever had in the history of the Thunderdome. All right? I'm not even kidding around. I'm not even kidding around. So cheers to everybody that was in the Thunderdome. That was a good time last night. And if you want to enter the Thunderdome, all you got to do is uh, go to buymeacoffee.com slash ghostpolitics and hook it up with 15 beers. Our latest member, LB Capitalist, I mean, he <laughs> said that, that for a he got his money's worth the first day. No, 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 skip Mexico. that shit. Centro. It's a Mexican dox. It's a Mexican dox, for Christ's sake. And no, I don't want your fucking tamales, all right? Uh, anyway, as I was stating, uh, once again, China's middle class battered by real estate meltdown. And it's not just the middle class. I mean, the youth of China has now gotten so demoralized that I don't think China is going to be able to remedy this whatsoever. And that's why they're lying down face down. I mean, this is really big. To oh, God. Hold on. This is an audio file, folks. All right, please. Have a hump in Herman Christmas. Let the accusations fly. Oh, man. If you're undressed in 10 minutes... The man is dead! Free pizza pie. Have a hump in herb at Christmas. The man is dead! down the street. Nod and pass and say nice to every chick you be. Oh, my God. Dude, how dare you people? You know that? How fucking dare you people? I mean, look. That, that was my candidate for 2012. That was my man, Herman Sugarcane. <laughs> you fucking piece of crap! God damn it! You <laughs> God damn it! 
All right, I've had just about enough of this shit. I, I'm serious. I, I've, I'm done. All right, I've had just about enough of this crap. I've had just about enough. Good God. I'm sorry, everybody out there who's listening, man. I'm, I'm trying to conduct a serious show here. And we've got these troll terrorist cyber vermin scumbags ruining it for me and ruining it for my audience. I'm telling you right now, I don't think I'm going to come do a ghost show now. Y- y- y'all fucked it up for everybody now, all right? Every one of you people that are laughing at this, you people that are perpetrating these trolls, you people ruined it for everybody. You ruined it for everybody. So I hope you're happy. I got tens of thousands of people listening to me right now. You know that? And look, I- I'm being relayed all over the world here. I- I'm-, I'm not even joking around. I'm being relayed. I mean, there's a Discord that's got about 10,000 people that listen to this broadcast. All right? I'm big in the Isle of Man as well. I don't know what's going on in the Isle of Man. Cheers to you guys out there. All right? Anyway, as I was stating before I got rudely interrupted by these fucking troll terrorist scumbags out here, all right? Uh, China is in a demoralized state, and I certainly don't believe that they're going to be able to come out of this at all. I think that, uh, I mean, they're going to have to be pretty crafty. Now, and it was because Benjamin Netanyahu did what Trump tried to do. Uh, <laughs> usurp. That for a dollar. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, usurp the uh, justice system. I mean, that's what Netanyahu did. He usurped the justice system because it was investigating him and his son. For It was mostly the secularists. Remember, they, they uh, Hamas went into some festival with all these Israeli influencers <laughs> and shit. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. And by the way, trolling the interweb said, I hope DLive gets hemorrhoids with a $10 rumble rant, by the way. $10 rumble rant by trolling the interwebs. And he said he hopes D-Live gets hemorrhoids. I don't know what all the hate on D-Live is all about, man. Uh, But anyway, as I was stating, okay, getting back to Israel. Anyway, while the Pakistani chief pleads with the United States, I mean, you know, (laughs) Pakistan. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, ghost. Thanks for doing a TCR. Yeah, thanks. But I know what you're trying to make me say with that shit. All right. That was a horrible name there, buddy. Anyway, uh, attacks continue to happen in Pakistan. Police and soldiers killed as more violence flares in northwest Pakistan. Excuse me. Pope Francis authorizes blessings for same-sex couples. Oh, oh. Well, I guess the Pope decided that, hey, look. (laughs) I'd buy that. Hold on. What is this? Roddy McNutt. I love how Winston kicks people out for saying shit like I'm bored but won't kick out someone that admits to wanting to fuck horses, looks at you peppermint. On top of that, Winston, your donos are lame as shit. Aw, dude, come on, man. Don't, don't do that. Let's not start that shit, please, all right? For the love of God. Anyway, as I was stating, Pope Francis over here is authorized blessings for same-sex couples. I, I think he figures, hey... Most of the priests are, priests are a bunch of pedophiles anyway. Might as well. All right, might as well. Maoism. Of, <laughs> oh, I'd Jesus. buy that for a dollar. I'm going to have to agree with Ronnie's dono here. Winston's video donos are all one-trick pony anime videos that no one laughs at. On top of that, Hess is sensitive <laughs> that bans people over silly shit. Oh, jeez. Sni- Shut up! Anyway... Maoism is completely against what Marx wrote because the basis of Maoism is nationalism. Nationalism. So, uh, it's still communism, but it's Maoism. I'd buy that for a Mind exercise. I want everyone watching to take a second to do this. First, imagine your grandpa completely naked. Then imagine your dad naked. Then imagine yourself naked in the tub with both of them. This is what God calls a generational shower. All right. All right. I'm done with this fucking show already. All right. We got Peter who said, how ironic Europe turned into what Hitler failed to accomplish. FYI, Nazi stands for National Socialism. Yeah, I I, I find it ironic, Peter, that uh, folks that are Nazis don't see a correlation between socialism and communism. I'm just I'm just saying there's not a huge difference between World War Two and the European Union. Uh, but let me go ahead and open up the treasure chest. Folks, we got 2,100 lemons 
in the treasure chest right now for everybody over there at D Live. Buy that for a dollar. Unban Doug Walker Bergamore I riot C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C you know, you're a son of a bitch, dude. I'm over here. I'm saying that I'm going to try to show up. And then here you guys, you fucking pour salt on the goddamn wound. All right. So don't be pissed off at me if I, if, you know, if I don't show up. All right. Don't be pissed off at me. Fucking milky liquors. All right. Anyway, once again, we've got 2,100 lemons in the house. So let's go ahead and open up the treasure chest. Is everybody ready? I'm going to open up in five, four, Three, two. I'd buy that for a dollar. What is it, Waffens? National socialism and fascism opposed Marx because he was a materialist. Mussolini and Gentile were Marxists for a decade but then abandoned Marx but not socialism. They believed in nationalism and nationalized the banks and made usury illegal. Okay, great. How did that work out for him, Waffens? It didn't work, all right? You know how thing you, you know what proves that social organizations and political theories work if they're still existing, all right? But thank you for that information. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up the treasure chest in 5 4 3 2 1. Let's go ahead and open up the treasure chest. Here it is. Let's go ahead and do it. And I will do I will tell you the top 5 lemon getters of the treasure chest here in a moment. Uh, but first, let me go ahead and acknowledge Twitter. They want me to go take a look at Twitter mentions and all this other nonsense. So let me go ahead and acknowledge a couple of Twitter, uh, a couple of Twitter mentions here. All right, let's see what we got. Oh my God! Look at this crap. Look at this crap, dude. Are, are you kidding? All right, all right. Let me let me start with this. All right, let me start with this. Okay, that's not funny. And this is certainly not fucking funny, all right? I don't want to be reminded of Popeyes, by the way. Uh, anyway, let me get to let me get to the five top five lemon getters. Colonel Transisco has uh, 306 lemons. IP2 Connoisseur with 176 lemons. Maria Maria with 128 lemons. Ninja Warrior with 101 lemons. And G H G G H B H G J that asshole. He got eighty five lemons. All right, all right. So anyway, what do we got here? And this is a bunch of bullshit. All right, this is a bunch of bullshit right here. The NFL is more than just the organization; it's the game. You see, you fat tards, you stupid nerds, you wouldn't know anything about that because you never played football. All right. The most physical activity that you do is getting up off of your fat computer chair after playing a video game for 12 hours and taking a dump. All right? That's all that you fucking know how to do. I played the game of football, all right? And once you play the game, you would have a little more appreciation for it, for Christ. Well, what the fuck is this? Isn't this the princess from fucking Mario Brothers wearing a Nazi outfit? What is this? I buy farts in a jar? Go fuck <laughs> off, all right? I'd buy that for a dollar. Unban the green thunder before I cream in your fat jelly rolls. Snipe. No, no Snipe shut up. Shut your goddamn pie hole, man. And what the hell is it? Go fuck off with this one, all right? And fuck you for this one, too. And fuck you for this one, too. Yeah, yeah, be mad. Yeah, fuck you, hair of the dog. You're lucky you're still around. Hold on, what is this? Hold on, let's make sure it's not a... Hold on, what is this? Why don't we put white people on islands so that we reduce their population? Here's the thing, though. It would quickly become the best island, and then all you guys would just want to come to it. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we put white people on... All right, I'm not commenting on that. Anyway, uh, Urinator, I played football. Sounds like something a towel boy would say. Fuck you, dude. Are you kidding me? I was a defensive end, dude. All right, I was sacking quarterbacks, all right? Are you fucking kidding me? I was putting people in the hospital. What the fuck are you talking about, man? And look, wait, this is supposed to be me and Putin? Or is that it? It's supposed to be me and Putin? What is this? Yeah, do not enter is right. The sign on my ass says do not enter. And by the way, you guys are just mad that I was a cool football chad in school, dude, all right? I wore a fucking Letterman jacket with fucking, you know, with my number and shit, and all the fucking chicks wanted to pull the balls out of my pants, and you fucking people are just fucking pissed about it, all right? 
That's what you. That's the perks of uh, playing football. But dude, what the hell is this? That's the perks of playing football. Fuck you, whoever the hell did this shit too. All right, I, I think we've had. Oh shit! Who the hell did that? Ignore that piece of crap. Ignore it, you sick fuck. All right, no, I don't think I'm. I'm I don't think I'm gonna do a show. All right, I, I, I don't think I'm gonna do a show tomorrow. All right. I don't think I'm doing a show. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Stick a fucking fork in me. I'm fucking done. And cheers to Colonel Transisco with another Ninja Gini, by the way. And he said, more corrosive and destructive idea conceived by man equals Marxism. We have to purge it from schools. I completely agree with you there, Colonel Transisco. Cheers to you. And thank you for chilling here with me in the D-Live chat. And, uh, you know, cheers to everybody else in here, all right? And um, I'm talking to the serious listeners because, look, True Capitalist Radio is a serious show. All right? It's a serious show, and it, could, it should be taken serious. All right? The ghost show is internet tomfoolery, and I wish you trolls would just stick over there. Jesus Christ. All right, I'm getting the hell out of here, all right? Anyway, thank you all for tuning in with me. We'll see if I do a ghost show tomorrow, all right? We'll see. We'll see if I do a ghost show tomorrow. And fuck all you people in the chat rooms talking garbage to me, man. You wouldn't say that to my goddamn face. I can tell you that right goddamn now. All right? You would you would not say that to my face. I would stomp your teeth so far down your goddamn throat, you'd be able to fucking chew the wrinkles in your asshole. All right? Anyway, fuck all you people talking shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> Woo!